Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to replace spark plugs, ignition coils, and connector boots. We'll only need a few simple tools and our replacement parts. Here we have our spark plugs and the Bavarian Autosport high performance ignition coils which come with new connector boots. Our tools will be a 3 8 drive ratchet, medium length extension, and the proper size spark plug socket. We also have a quarter inch drive ratchet, short extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. Additionally, we have a flat blade screwdriver, our mechanics gloves, and our fender protector mat. Now, let's get going. First, we remove the trim plugs for the valve cover trim panel securing nuts. Use a flat blade screwdriver to pry the caps up. Now we can access the two securing nuts. Use the quarter inch drive ratchet, extension, and 10 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the nuts. If the nuts do not stay in the socket as it is removed, use the small screwdriver to fish the nuts out of the recess in the trim cover. Remove the oil cap then lift and remove the trim cover. We now have access to the coils and the spark plugs. Note that some BMW models have a microfilter or a wiring tray that extends from the firewall and covers the rear of the engine. This makes it difficult to access the rear cylinders. These microfilter and wiring trays are easily removed and this is outlined in the applicable Bentley repair manual. We're now ready to remove the individual ignition coils. We will be removing the wiring harness plugs and the 10 millimeter securing bolts or nuts. To remove the coil, we'll release the harness plug clip and remove the two 10 millimeter securing bolts. Remove the harness plug clip by gently prying it up with a small screwdriver. Pull the clip fully up and then pull the harness plug from the coil's plug housing. We now remove the securing bolts using the quarter inch drive ratchet extension, and 10 millimeter socket. Once the securing bolts are removed, gently pull the coil up and out of the spark plug well. The rubber connector boot may be stuck to the spark plug. Just gently twist and pull the coil up. Note the rubber connector boot. These boots should be replaced when replacing the spark plugs and of course when replacing coils. The spark plug is located in the spark plug well here. Use a 3 8 inch drive spark plug socket, extension, and ratchet to remove the spark plug. Note how this spark plug was fairly tight. This 60,000 mile engine still has the original spark plugs installed. Be sure to apply a small dab of anti-seize compound to the threads of the new spark plugs to prevent galling problems between the aluminum cylinder head and the steel spark plug. Note that there is no oil on this spark plug, nor was there any on the connector boot. This means that the valve cover gasket is not leaking. If there was oil on the spark plug, the valve cover gaskets would need to be replaced. This is the spark plug well. Nice and clean, no oil. Before installing the new coil and connector boot, or just a new boot over the new spark plug, Apply some silicone grease to the inside of the boot end. This will prevent the boot from sticking to the spark plug. Install the new spark plug. Tighten no more than just one eighth turn past hand tight. Actual torque values vary by application. 
refer to the applicable Bentley repair manual for specific values. Install the coil and connector boot. Remember, always install a new boot when replacing the coils or the spark plugs. Press the coil firmly into place over the spark plug. Install the securing bolts. Don't forget the ground wire on this particular coil. Install the harness plug and press the securing clip into place. Repeat this procedure for the remaining cylinders. Install the trim cover, securing nuts, and the nut trim caps. Install the oil cap and you're done.